He's always quick to look to the referee, let's put it like that, and he was calling on George Clancy, but it was blatant from Walder, he knew what he'd done, no complaint, so the Barbarians now with 14 men, and England looking to make the extra forward count here, with no Waldrum, Yard is lurking if it comes out, but it never did, and there it is, and it's Ed Slater, the man who has played for England once before as captain on the tour last year against the Crusaders, injured his knee nearly a year out, he's back, and England starting to build a lead here. Last time England played here, 55-35 against France. We saw rugby the like of which we've not seen for many a year, if ever, from England at Twickenham. But against the Barbarians here with the extra man, this is England going back to traditional England, doing what they do very well. And come the World Cup, England have to be able to attack from deep to use their backs, but they've got to remember the driving ball is a major strength of the England game and when you have an advantage and when you're within range you have to take it good tactical decision from England to go for the line out and extremely well executed and Cipriani again this could be a problem period for the Barbarians can ill afford men in the Simbin when they've not been together as a group for very long end of a long half season of course and shall we say some draining activities off the field yeah and you know just about every club every international team they will practice periods when they're down to 14 man they work out on that I don't think the barbarians would have spent too much time thinking what do we do when we're one man down you don't get many yellows in barbarian games do you Yes, there is a limit to what they can do in the training time allowed. Travel time as well on Friday from Ireland to England. 